Hi, Choice and Alfonso. Um, trying a slightly different approach today. I wanted to see if I could make this work. So uh, what I've got going here is a little video. Uh, it's a presentation for you. And clearly, you can see that I'm getting up into your attic. And I figured what I'd do is let you kind of walk with me through a few of these steps and take a look and see how we do certain things. The first thing I want to point out to you is that flu we were talking about that starts in the basement. And that's that silver tube that's kind of running at an angle going up through the roof there. So like I said, that starts in the basement where the furnace is. And you can see the two flues from the water heater and the furnace tap into that. And it goes straight up through the house and ends up in the attic. So that creates a cavity. And we'll kind of come back to that a little bit later once I get back around to, to going over there. So what I'm looking at now as I take pictures are just the baffles. And you can see that there's daylight there. And that's a good thing. You want to have air coming through. And you may even notice where the insulation looks a little darkened and dirty. And that also is a sign that air is, is flowing through there. Um, so we want to maintain that, that ventilation if you add insulation. Uh, let's focus a little bit now on the hatch there, the pull down stairs. I was trying to explain that, and this video here is taken from another project, and you can kind of see how the tent houses or kind of encases the insulation. It gets sealed at the base, and then it's like a flap that can sort of be pulled down whenever you need to go up in the attic, and when you don't, it can stay closed and sealed and insulated. So getting back to the knee wall here, that was a big thing that relates to your ba uh, bedroom. And what I wanted to show here is how this is sort of away ever so slightly from the surface of the drywall below. And that's because you've got different things going on there, wood and different um, things. So that's not really cut perfectly to begin with. But what you can see in how we treat knee walls nowadays is we not only put the insulation after we've air sealed, which I'll show you what that is in a minute, but we also put a nice jacket, we call it sheathing, on the backside so that the insulation is sandwiched between the wall and that sheathing. And you can kind of see how he tacks it into place and gets it nice and tight and snug. Snug insulation is gonna work much, much better for you guys. It's going to keep the room more comfortable. So I wanted to just make sure that in the video here, I showed you what happened with your bath fan there. Uh, that's the hallway bath fan. You can see how it vents directly into the attic. Interestingly, it looks like they, you know, and this is not a knock on anybody. It looks like they put the fan in one way and that that vent was sort of headed the opposite way, which mm, who knows why they put it the opposite way to begin with. But in any case, that just needs to be rectified. And that goes for both the uh, bath fan on in the master bathroom as well as in the hallway. This part of the video just kind of shows where I wanted to just show how the insulation that's laying on top of your slope ceiling, how it's not great contact with the surface and that's one of the reasons why you all are, are having some of those issues and you know in that case with that particular piece you can see how there's a wire kind of jammed in there and um, all that just needs to be you know fixed up made a little bit better and and when you look at it from over top you kind of see how some of the insulation is bunched up and that's just a telltale sign that that insulation is not in great contact with that ceiling below. So what happens is when the guys get up there, I couldn't get up onto the sloped portion of the ceiling. But when the guys get up there, they're able to uh, fix that and then add insulation and make it uh, work much better. Now back to the flue here, as you can see, I'm kind of pulling the insulation away from the top of that cavity. And they use that conduit, that chase, that cavity for a few things, plumbing, as well as that flue. And you can see where they put the sheet metal around the flue. They also cut the sheet metal for the plumbing, which may have come later. 
that's neither here. Maybe you added a bathroom. That's neither here nor there. The, the point is, is even the sheet metal itself is not enough to stop the flow of air, which leads to this video, which is, again, one of my guys uh, just sealing up a, a wall, kind of like yours. So that would happen before the insulation goes on. And then you can also see where he's insulating the different holes and penetrations at the top of the attic floor, which you can't see them in yours, but they do exist. So this is just a little uh, video here of some work that we did before, after. Um, you can kind of see the wall there before and after, and then you can also get a feel for what a well-insulated attic looks like, a, a, an evenly insulated attic, the before on the knee wall, the after. Um, so just wanted to give you all a really good look at what's going on with your attic and uh, just give you the opportunity to see what I saw when I was up there because, hey, I mean, who really likes to to go into their attic? Not many. Thanks.